Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm going to show you how to put a PJ unit on our single trailer. We're going to start by removing these clips in the front here. They're held in place by these D clips. You simply pull the spring off the back side of the clip and then pull the pin out of the hole. Remove the clip and we'll do the same thing for the other side. And we will slide the unit up onto the trailer. We're gonna have the door facing the forward, which is the recommended placement of the unit on the trailer. You can place the unit with the door facing the rear. However, caution must be taken to lock that door anytime the unit is transported. Otherwise, the door can be flinging open. I'm gonna lift it up onto the trailer here, and then we'll push it all the way forward. until it's held in place by the C-clips on the back. You'll see the uh, unit is secured underneath this C-clip, the C-channel here that's welded onto the trailer that holds it in place on the back. And then we are going to now install these on the front. We're going to reinstall these simply the same way we uninstalled them, except opposite. Simply place that into the hole, line up your pin through the clip, and then fasten it in place with the clip there. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Now you'll see that there is a little bit of play when you put the unit onto the trailer. That's only to allow for other manufacturer trailers or units to be put on the trailer. These clips are held in place by welded in uh, pins here, and they're going through the, the assembly of the trailer, so it makes it very secure. And it's held onto the base of the unit, which is the strongest part of the unit. We're gonna start by putting our uh, tongue into the trailer here. There's a receiver located in the center front of the trailer. To do this, we'll pull the pin out of the, this keeper pin here and then pull our wiring out and then we will slide our tongue into position and you could put this uh, pin partially in the hole push this through until it goes through and then secure in place with your cotter pin now we're going to start with the left wheel assembly here we are going to pull the pin out of the axle and pull this D-clip out of the front receiver clip here. Taking our wheel assembly, place that onto the axle, slide it into position, put your clip back in. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the right assembly, removing the, the clip. Seat the D-clip there, place our wheel assembly back on, replace our pin in the back, and we will now lower the unit down. To do this, it can be a little tricky. We're gonna have to pull this wheel assembly out to clear the clip and then up into the clip. We'll do the same thing for the other side. And we are ready to hook it up to our trailer. Now when you get to your job site and you've uh, released your trailer from your truck, just lower it to the ground and we will begin by lowering the wheel assemblies down to lower the whole unit. That's done by pulling these clips out like this, pushing this down and out and lowering this unit to the ground and then we'll do the same thing for the other side. Now at this point, you can leave the wheel assemblies attached. 
Now, if your unit's facing the front like this one is, you're gonna need to remove the tongue. So to do that, we're gonna pull this pin out here, your clevis pin, put that to the side, remove your tongue, now pull this out, push our wires underneath the unit, and I would recommend that you place this in the back of your, of your truck or wherever for safekeeping. That will keep the unit secure on the job site to keep anybody from taking your unit. Thank you for watching this safety and instructional video on how to use the PJN3 on this trailer. These trailers are available for all units that we carry, well, fleet or PJN3 units. The PJ part number is a TU01-1000 and the fleet is a TU01-1001. This is also available in a double trailer where you can put two units on a trailer. That would be a TU02-1000 for a PJ model and a TU02-1001 for a fleet. Now, if you'd like any more information about these products that we carry or any other products, please visit our website and thank you for watching.